today on City Line. It's Fashion Friday. Going away soon and suffering from bathing suit anxiety? Sandra Patana has bathing suits for your figure type. I look at it and I think rich. I think royalty. Mm -hmm. Really like, beautiful. Yeah, it's just very, it's go yes, they're very royal. The ripped jeans look is hotter than ever. We have a do-it-yourself lesson to save you money. We're talking engagement ring selfies, gauche or glamorous. It's fairly common, it's yeah. kind of expected, but it's still a little bit gauche and a bit of a humble brag for some people. I agree. Tips for perfecting your eyes with these easy mascara tricks. Plus, what's new in denim for spring? We have the hottest trends. And you won't believe this before and after, right now on City Line. Excited. So the treat for the week is, of course, we get to talk fashion. Now, so many of us, the lucky ones, are going away to somewhere warm. You're going somewhere warm. There's water. You need a swimsuit. Why not get an amazing one? Sandra Patana is back with incredible fashions from Elmira. I missed you. Oh, that's so nice. I did. I know you have to go where it's warmer, and we all understand. And you know we it's don't been blame so you. Warm here this fall. It's been very mild, at least in this part of the country. But let's say we're, we're going to somewhere even warmer. Wouldn't that be beach? Treat? Pool. You want to have a suit that's going to make you feel good. And so many of us, we go to the bathing suit store. We freak out. We don't want to come 100%. out of the room. We're like, I don't have a tan. I've been eating many, many turkeys and bottles of wine. I do not want to put on that bikini. And then there's Melmira. And then there's Melmira. And actually, sometimes buying a bathing suit is a very good inspirational way to get you on trend to eating better because <laughs> you realize probably you have been a little naughty. But what I like about Melmira is there's, um, they have, first of all, they have suits for everybody, yeah. every shape, every size. and Within each range, there are so many styles. So if all of a sudden you love that bikini bottom, but you don't like that top, which so often in many stores, they come together. Right. This, you can size differently, top to bottom, shape differently, Mix build up. up, build down the whole thing. I love that. So, and no mirror is all about personalization. You don't yeah. see any suits. They see your body and they bring to you what they think you should be in. It's an amazing treat to have somebody, it's really like having a yeah. stylist on site for you. I was so. telling the audience that I think that's cool. Let's see the first uh, look we have now. It's Tanika, who I've also missed. So this is a beautiful, striking one piece. You know what's happened in swimwear is that because the technology of fabrics has traveled so far, swimwear designers have now been able to do things like this is a, a print on print. Mm -hmm. So the gold over print on top. And what makes this suit special is first of all, it's high neck with what I would call built in jewelry. Yes. All right, so this high neck, it really elongates the body beautifully. Uh -huh. It also accommodates, which is very nice. It has a floating underwire. Nice. So you don't see the built-in underwire, but it gives support. It minimizes if you have a large bust, but is equally suitable to a smaller bust. And, you know, they have work rooms, so they can build out the bra mm -hmm. or help you reduce the size of your bust line if you're looking for a better balance proportion. Right. So this suit here from Marion Melhorn is really, I, I mean, I think the jewel embellishment is what I would tell you is, is really the treat of this. Because yeah. we always talk about how great it is to wear jewelry on the beach, but how many of us truly do it? it I just try and do it and my husband makes fun of me. I know. But it's it like, looks, why are you wearing a necklace? I don't You're going in a so pool. Great. It's like, I want to be glamorous and have the big sunglasses and a necklace and like jewelry. I know. I think it's cool. I, I don't travel with right? you. And I'll encourage you, Thanks, girlfriend. Thanks, T. You look amazing. Right? I and isn't this so pretty to see the open lace work? We're going to see a lot of good cover. A lot of good cover-ups, and I would really encourage people to, to buy their cover-ups to go with their suits because I think it makes a difference. Now, this Especially me, one like oh this. Oh, my gosh. Because you can wear this on a regular Tuesday, never mind just to the beach. That's a great cover-up. I think this is such a fabulous dress. This mm -hmm. is, I can see putting this on right now over a pair of leggings. Absolutely. But it's done in the denim, and of course, we all know about denim trends. They're so strong. So, yeah. Karina's got this great dress on, and I'm going to get her to take it off because I want you to.
to see what's underneath, but it's just so what a great piece to pack. You could yes. get on the plane wearing oh, this. Oh, and she's got more denim underneath. Look at this. Thanks. She's so, got the Canadian tuxedo bathing suit style. <laughs> I keep caring about that. I love this because it's denim. That's so but cute. But what makes it so sexy, first of all, it has the corsetry detail, like the built-in bra. Yeah. But turn around for us, Karina, so we can see the back. Look at the sheer back on this. I love it. So I love that detail. It's, it's like, it's the roughness of denim done with the femininity of corsetry and underwear. Yeah. So I think that it's just beautiful and it's got the adjustable strap, so that's great if you've got a larger bust and you want more support, yeah. or you've got a longer torso. It looks like it holds you in, and I think a lot of us are looking for that. We and, want to be held in. And do you see this line that cuts into the waist? That immediately slims yes. your waistline, right? It so is. It's it, flattering. It's, yeah, really flattering suit. Very nice. Thank, Thank you. you. Love the cover-up. Love the suit. You. Thank you. Back. Beautiful. Pretty, eh? So as you said, it doesn't matter what you're dealing with in terms of your shape uh, and your size. Melmira's going to find that suit for you. This one is gorgeous. You know what I love the best about this? I love the zipper, but I love that color. This, That's an untraditional color. Well, it's really funny because um, Karen said the same thing. Karen loved this color. From I the really same. like it. And I think that one of the things I found at Melmira this time where there were some really off colors and what I like about off colors is you don't find them in really commercial yeah. swimwear. That's you only true. find them in better makes. Yeah. Now this one is a make, this is probably one of my um, favorite manufacturers. They come from um, Australia and their name is Carla. And Carla oh, is Carla. the one that really started this floating underwire. So mm -hmm. again, great support. Yeah. This zipper can close up or close down. I was going to ask you that. You can be as racy as you, you want. want. But it's right. also great for support, right? Because yes. if you want to say. And there is a tr great trend this season towards that feeling of scuba suits. Yeah. And certainly, Melmira has covered that off in true scuba fabrics. This one is not that neoprene, but it has that same sort of constriction. That it holds feel. the body and it gives you great support, mm -hmm. but sexy as all get out. And I love this cover up. This cover up is done in. Um, it's from Melissa Odebash, new name to me. But Very what nice. I love is it's pure silk. Now, I have to tell you, when you think about silk, a lot of people go, oh, that's precious. You wouldn't take that to the beach. This oh, no, you totally roll it can. Up. Thanks, love. Beautiful. Twist it. Throw it in your suitcase. Yes. Pick it out. Shake it out. The quality of the silk is so great that it but really fine. Makes, it stays I upward. have a Melmira silk cover-up, and it's fine. It's, it's fine. It's, it's perfect. It's traveled everywhere. It's been and great. I, like the one we just saw, or this one from Shan, this yeah. is sort of almost like you could just throw it over your pajamas. Like it's, a, it's yeah. another lovely little piece. So I love this, this nice. thing in the crosshatch detailing with the digital print. It has a very Indonesian flair to me. Mm -hmm. Every season, Shan, who's our, my favorite Canadian designer, she always does, um, you know, two or three or four really strong prints. And within each category, she always does a gazillion different styles of yeah. suits for one pieces to so you can really mix it up and customize it's really what you have to say is I love the print and then they'll find the suit within that right that really talks to your body but there's nothing like having a cover-up that matches your suit oh it's the best it's just it's you, the best it's you just feel good. it elevates the whole it really look. does and then I love that this having the bandeau but it's got the strap so you've got the support when you want it when you're swimming yeah. but if you're somebody who's into tanning and you don't want those unsightly lines you can, you can just take it off that little higher bottom is nice with the root down the side what I like is that they've actually stitched that ruche piece down so it doesn't so not float flip up. up you know how sometimes you want things that really hold to the body well and I think that's the other thing you want fabrics that have got enough hold mm -hmm. that they really keep your body because Let's be honest, girls. We're all a little, sometimes a little softer Beautiful. than we'd like to be. Yeah. And we just want things to hold in place. I like the structure, structure, especially if you're going to be swimming and crashing through waves. It's 100%. You know, you want to make sure that what you're wearing is going to stay on you. So this, this color is gorgeous. That's a nice one for T. I, I, I I said... That. When Tanika put this on, I said, you know, I just feel like she, she's going to crawl out of the Amazon. She just looks <laughs> like an Amazonian giant to me. There's it's just classy. something so fabulously rainforest about this. I, I don't love know. it. But um, she's got the, the coloration sort of through it. it it's jewel-like. It right. really has that shimmer to yeah, it. Yeah, I look at special. it and I think rich. I think royalty. It really like, beautiful. Yeah, it's just very, it's got, yes, they're very royal. She's and, a queen. And then you can see how here, when you just put those little jewel touches on the necklaces. See why I like see? wearing the necklaces? Exactly. It just 
ups the ante that little bit. And here we're seeing where they've taken a beautiful cover up and added in that feminine lace detailing. So there you get sort of the mix of the two. Yeah. This is really beautiful. pretty on your she Very just nice queen. I love it. She, wish she, she told me. I'm so she mad She said, at I wish right I'd now. had this suit when I was down there. That would have been You'll good. You'll have to go on another Thanks, holiday. Thanks, Looks good. Yeah. She wears them well. She wears them really well. Perfect figure. Ooh, this one's fun. Okay, so Great. this is another suit um, that came to us from Shan, and it was interesting because this print has been so popular I with can all see ages. Why. And why? It's happy. It's it's almost like clown-like polka dots, but it just makes you smile. Yeah, it does. And I think that's the greatest thing about swimwear. You know, women all love to have their one black suit because yeah. that kind of makes them feel in their comfort zone but you need to step out of that especially when you get down south and you start to see the colored waters right. and all the bright colors it this makes so much sense yes I never wear a black bathing suit ever good for I you. just think it's summer it's sun it's happy and you know what once you get out there in the sand in the pool you actually don't care anymore you just want to have fun you know, you're so right once you, don't you get down anymore. there you just yeah I, I, feel I good. agree with you so this one we've done, um, this is the old string bottom again, yeah. you know, that, and, and certainly you can get wider than this, but you know, yeah. there's always a girl that loves a string. What's nice about this is this can come with like the little triangle tops the way string bikinis do, right? Yeah. But you know when you do a string top, there's no support. Nice. So you just have to, what's nice here is this one, if you come to me just a tiny bit, this has a strong band okay so this is sewn right in so this gives you the support so you get and look at the beautiful teardrop the little cut, out, cut out so this gives you all the support but it's sort of still that little minimalist sexy I love suit. that halter top and then the great shirt cover up which you can either tie up or just leave undone just a great piece anyway throw it on with a pair of jeans or leggings and you know it's beautiful. done very Thank nice you. lots of fun Another nice one coming out here. So you really, you really had some fun when it came to color with all of these. And this Andy. is another one. This color, I the just emerald? think is, but it's almost forest green. This one, you know, yeah, it, that's it's true. It's really a little bit more muted, muted down. And mm -hmm. this one again has that. It's from Carla, and another one that has very much that look of that scuba. Now, what's nice about this is this strap is so adjustable, so you can get the good support that you want. Yeah. I think this opening down the front is it's really very sexy. fabulous. Very. F and Love then it. you can do it with a little skirt. Yeah. You can of course do it they have the full cover-ups if that's what you're looking for but I didn't want to take away from that beautiful neckline detail right so no, I like it and there's so many uh, women that want to have a little bit of extra coverage uh, at the bottom for you know, sure. they care more about the bottom than they do about the top. This would be perfect. The little skirt would well, work well for that. Well, these little skirts are just handy to have around. I yeah, mean, just I, look again, them on. I want you to think about cover-ups that they should go with the suit. Yeah. On the other hand, I want you to think that your cover-ups can play an, a part in your wardrobe, totally. independent of just with your swimsuit. Absolutely beautiful, Karen. Let's, yeah, that let's is great. great Thanks, you. honey. Beautiful. Thanks. Very nice. <laughs> great color. Very nice color. You, you know, Ooh, I would like that. So this to me just felt um, very Southeast Asia. It's very different. It's very you just don't different. See, you don't see patterns like that very often with swimwear. So this is a number of patterns stitched together. Mm -hmm. So it's all in the construction. What we're seeing a lot of though is this deeper, um, almost the corsetry feeling. With right. that elongated, it goes a little lower. And then look at the bottom with the cutouts. I mean, it's really fun to see these little cutouts through the side. Yeah. So you've got detail on this you've got lots of print and color and again mixture of print into the cover-up so it's it's all about the layering you know it's really swimsuits don't are not so different from fashion yeah that's true right they follow those same trends same rules same trends but what is key is the quality of the fabric yeah. and the quality of the cut. The cut has to be on and it has to work for you. I always think, you know when you look at yourself in your bra and your underwear and you think, why can't a bathing suit be like this? Because sometimes yes. I think I look better in my bra and my underwear. But these are like your bra and your underwear. And that's exactly So that's true. the key. So As really good. As opposed to the uh, old swimsuits that were all just loose yeah, pieces. This is structure. really constructor and structured, so it really suits the woman's body beautifully. I love the fun patterns and colors you brought to us. We've got so much more coming up on Fashion Friday, so stay with us. I'm ready to go on vacation now.
Coming up next, Janice Meredith is here and she's got denim hacks that you can do yourself. Mm -hmm. And Monday on City Line, party winter recipes. Dinner is ready. The art of organization. A revolutionary way to think of decluttering. Unique life trends. The impact is amazing. Plus, orchids as decor. They're okay. really quite elegant. Monday on City Line. City Line's weight loss challenge is back, and we want you to get healthy with us. And still enjoy life and enjoy food. Just head to cityline.ca for everything you need to lose weight and feel great. You're down 11 pounds. Be sure to watch City Line February 3rd. I don't even know what it's going to feel like. For the latest on these life changing transformations. Raffaella getting the treatment over there for our makeover. Palma and she love it from the hair spot and Jackie Hutchinson from Revlon are doing the hair and makeup. We're going to have the big reveal at the end, but Raffaella works at the Children's Aid Society. She's rushing right back to work after the show. So she's going to return a whole new woman. Stay tuned to the end of the show to see how that all turns out. For now, Janice Meredith is here with something so cool, Janice. So we're taking your denim. But we're going to do what all the cool kids are doing, okay? It's all about the distressed denim. It's about having the holes, the rips. It's about taking the hemlines and fraying them. Yeah. Having some fun with your denim. This is all stuff that drives my mom crazy. Yeah. She's like, why would you want to wear ripped clothing? I don't understand. To be truthful, it took me a very long time to, to get embrace. into to embrace it. And it was slight, and then I've gone that way of like gaping holes. Me too. But it did take a while. And so the one thing that I would say is that it's hard enough to find a good pair of jeans and then to find all the elements that you want just adds to it so right. that's why doing it yourself is fantastic for sure if you can find a pair that you like then buy a couple pairs so you keep one clean and then you can just distress the other ones yeah I love now, it. now I picked up all of these jeans at Value Village for seven dollars so you don't have to go out there and buy a two hundred dollar pair of jeans especially if you're feeling a little iffy about the fact that you're gonna be Perfect. putting holes in them yes or if you're holding on to that pair from university yeah that's got like the bootleg that you're never gonna wear again right like, really you're not gonna wear I am them. holding on you're to that pair gonna wear them. I'm not gonna wear them again but if we I, if you do some of these <laughs> tips you might Maybe I'll wear them again. All right. Okay. So this pair here is actually a nice clean pair. There was nothing on it when I bought them. Yeah. But then what we're going to do is distress them. And you can easily do the distressing with your tools. Okay. Everybody should have a seam. A seam ripper. Yeah. And so you're just going to kind of score across the the top of the surface of your denim, and then use your sanding block. Your That's sandpaper. Easy, yeah. Just make sure your hands underneath, so you're only sanding through the top. Yeah. It makes a little bit of a mess. Okay. But it, it doesn't take very much time, and you can create this. And now one does thing, that take a long time? No, no, no. This oh, was like a couple a, like, of minutes. A couple of minutes. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. That's great. So the one thing you want to know is, especially depending on your shape, like there's certain places you shouldn't be highlighting. So oh, I'm hippie, glad you mentioned yeah, that. So this is the good thing about you just distressing your own. You can put the distress where you want it to be. Right. So you don't want to put it here if you're wide at the hips. Yes. You can put it more down here, lower right. on your thighs. So anyway, that's the great thing is you can control where you're where and to distressed. the degree of how much you want it to go. That's right. Because yes. maybe you don't want the, the huge gaping hole. Yes. So you just want a little want bit of a ease into it like the rest of us. Right. And now this is a new trend that you're going to see. And this is actually, it's longer at the back and shorter at the front. Maybe on the white background, it's better. There you go. You can see it. You see it all the time on Pinterest, on Instagram. A lot of the big fashionistas and bloggers are doing that with their jeans. They're really having some fun with the hemlines. Yes, and it's a nice clean hem. This isn't a huge fray. Yeah. And so what we're doing is once you cut it, then you're just using your seam ripper again, and you're just picking out at the ends a couple of threads. Okay. That's all we're going to do. Yeah. And then to keep it like that, you're going to use your clear nail polish. To keep it frayed. Will, yes, without fraying anymore. Got it. Yeah, so right. that's a nice clean look. And this works well with more of a straight leg pants. Mm. That's what we want. Don't do that with the bell bottoms. No. Okay. <laughs> so then what do you want to do with these ones? Okay, so this one, we've got this distressed dropped hem. Right. So we've taken our regular jeans, uh -huh. we've we've clipped it with our seam hammer, uh -huh. and then as you, you pull the threads out and you can start to unfold it, iron it, and then you get this great look at the end. Okay, so, so this is also good if you didn't ever have the right length you wanted, uh, right? Exactly. Take out the hem and you have this, but you and you want it to look sort of... Yes, and again, you can use your sanding block rough. on your hem right here if you want it to be a little bit more worn before you unroll it so that you get that look. Okay. Okay, very nice. Yeah, and very simple. I like that. And so, you want that with, sorry, with a clean leg, with a straight leg fitted. You want that with a straight leg, once again. It seems like most of these are mostly with straight leg. Mm -hmm. Well, you can do them yeah. with a boyfriend. 
Yeah. Would you do any of these with a boyfriend, Jean? Oh, yeah, this one, absolutely. Yeah, that girlfriend. one? Yeah. The, the um, different length hems. Okay, so this one Crazy. is, to me, probably, yeah, the craziest. <laughs> this is like a full-on Huckleberry Finn uh, <laughs> fringes. They're very long. There's nothing yes. subtle about this. No, it is. But you've seen fringe everywhere, right? It's picking up everywhere. on purses, on shoes, and now it's into our clothes. Yeah. And now it's at the bottom of our pant legs. Okay, how and do we the, make that happen? So I lucked out with this pair of jeans that I bought that was um, from Value Village, hems like this. I okay. dropped the hem, so yeah. it came a couple ones longer, and then we've got, um, I just cut it in thin strips, washed it, and now we have this fabulous look. And oh. everybody, there is actually a brand of jeans, 250 in the US, uh -huh. three by one, and Al Fanning's wearing them, the Man Repeller's wearing them, yes. you've seen these around. And this would be so cute on like a denim skirt, a midi denim skirt, a straight oh, one. I would like that. You could apply that for a lot, you could apply a lot of these to different techniques. Now, if you are wearing Wearing this fringe, where should it hit you? Should this be going all the way down or should this be no. a shorter pant? This is your crop right here, and then this is gonna have a little bit over your ankle. Good question. Got it. Yes. Okay, so they're worn yeah. a little bit shorter. Yeah. But that's a great thing about all of these. Like if you are petite and you're trying and it's hard to find pants that are the length that you want, yeah. this is you can make it all yourself. Yeah, you absolutely can. Yeah. So we like putting uh, all of the details for our DIY uh, projects online, yes. and I think people like to see that as well. Have you distressed your own? pants uh, did you do these it, yes well it's can yes. we can you show us come over here because yes. wow I love these so you did the knees yes we're just so you just cut I just yeah. cut it straight and now one thing is you don't want to go all the way over to the seams cut and then I think I bet about an inch and a half yeah and then as you move around it was stretching and then I threw them in the wash and then I got the nice fringe oh so the throwing in the wash thing is the real way to make it yes finish it off finish it off and to get kind of this more like not so clean right look, yeah you're not looking for the clean look Look. Yeah. I love it. You look great, Mama. Thank Let's you. go to break. More coming up. Stay with us. That was so awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Coming up, Allison McGill is here. She's here to help you plan your engagement. I've got your do's and don'ts. the right person here today, Alison McGill from Wedding Bells Magazine is going to help you out, it's going to help all of us out. Who knew this is actually the biggest, the peak engagement time of the year? Everything has a season. <laughs> We're in engagement season, which runs from December to February. 30% of engagements in Canada happen during this window. Wow. Everyone's feeling the love. It's That's holidays. Right. It's Valentine's. It's the beginning of a new year. New year, new life, new you. That's right. It does make sense when you look at it that way. Yes. So if you have been engaged, there are so many ways that you might want to get that information out there. Right. There are things that you might want to do. There are things that you shouldn't do, perhaps. And it's all about the planning. You think the wedding is a big deal. The engagement is as well. So it takes some thought. It You're going to walk us through what you need to know. Right. So you have to think of your engagement as really the first component of your wedding planning. So when we talk about this, Let's just get it out there. We need to talk about the ring selfie because yes, it's a big the deal. Ring selfie. It's fairly common. It's yes. kind of expected, but it's still a little bit gauche and a bit of a humble brag for some people. I agree. Right. Like sometimes, I, I guess it's depending on who that person is in your life. Right. You might see the ring selfie and say, "Oh my gosh, they actually did it." Yes. Or you might see the ring selfie and be like, "Oh gosh, I'm so <laughs> done with these." Like well, it really it depends it how is. it's done. And it, it's depend how it's done, how you caption it. Yeah, and you gotta you, pla you gotta it. plan for the ring selfie. Like, and when I say that, I mean filters, I mean nail polish, I mean hand <laughs> position. Um, right. You gotta put a little thought into that because, right. as we know, Instagram is maybe not so spontaneous. It's not so spontaneous. <laughs> Let's get real. Let's people. get real. So we need to talk about that. You know, if you're not comfortable doing it, then don't. Yeah. Um, you're gonna get a lot of hits with people when they find out you're engaged on your Facebook and all your social channels saying, "Let's see the ring." Yes. You don't want to do it. Don't do it. Just say, right. I'd love to show you in person. Because let's let's get back to basics. I think people want face-to-face -face these days. Well, I think so, too. And I'm wondering if part of the etiquette is actually reaching out to the people who you know and love before you put it out on your Instagram and your Facebook. Oh, I am a very much a personal person. What do you think? Well, I don't actually want to learn. I mean, let's say you're my cousin or a friend. I actually don't want to learn about your milestones on social media. No. I, I would hope you at least sent me a text or yeah. maybe picked up the phone to say, hey, we did it where we got engaged 
it would make me feel better as a friend, right? At the very least, do not tell your parents over text. Oh, no, no, no. With a photo no, 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 no. on social media. No, no, no. Not setting a good tone. No, not so, at all. So with that engagement selfie or however you're presenting it, think about the rest of your wedding on social media because the right. engagement is the first step. That's so the first step. So we're talking step. hashtag, start hashtagging, create a, a creative, fun, clever, simple hashtag for your yeah. guests. Think about what the rollout of that is going to be for your engagement into your wedding because yeah. you're going to start aggregating all of this content on your social network. You know why else the hashtag is a good idea? Because now you can actually get the people that come to your engagement and your weddings, you can just take their pictures. Absolutely. You actually don't need a photographer anymore. <laughs> there are apps. This is terrible. I'm not trying yeah. to put anyone out of you work. Do you need a photographer because you you're, you're not going to get quite quite the photos you need for your wedding, but you're right. going to get all those added bonuses. Right, all the stuff uh, yeah. that you can't see, the angles exactly. that you're not. Exactly, and all the stuff you're seeing that's going on at your wedding where people are having an amazing time, but yeah. you don't know about it. Right. So this is all the great stuff when couples review this this social feed, right. I mean, they're in for so many surprises. That's and I think true. that's what's wonderful about social media. And this is where we love it. This is where we love it. So you say get creative. People are getting pretty creative when it comes to their engagements. Uh, they are. I mean, I think that the the proposals have become larger than life in some cases. <laughs> right. Know your audience. If yeah. you, the per person you're proposing to isn't, you know, a big production person, don't pull don't out do the production, it. but definitely put some thought into it. I mean, the person yeah. wants to feel like it's a special moment and it's highly personal. For sure. So this is where I say, again, I'm a bit of a traditionalist. It's an intimate moment. Keep it personal and yes. know the audience of who you're proposing to and what, what they're going to remember and what's going to be a special day for you. When my husband was my fiance, we were doing a reality show, a makeover show, and they were begging him to ask me to marry him on that show. <laughs> and he was at one point, he had a weak moment and he thought, no, maybe I should do this. I'm so happy he didn't do it. Yes. Because you have to know your bride or your groom, know who they are. He knows I would not be happy with that. And also, I don't want it on a show. Right. This is an intimate. <laughs> Well, let's, between let's you and also, me, why do they know about let's it? Let's not forget, you run the risk, like, we're hoping it's a yes. Right. But if it's not... I'm embarrassed. Exactly. So Listen, we barely slayed the, we barely slayed the list I here. Know, let's put it on let's put it online. Can let's we put, put the rest on, of this list absolutely. online and we'll have you back to talk about the after the engagement. You got it. All right. Everyone uh, is going to get from Allison the latest issue of Wedding Bells magazine, an incredible magazine with everything you need to know if you're a bride. So check it out. Thanks, Allison. Let's go to break. More coming up. Stay with us. Coming up, Jackie Hutchinson is here with mascara tips and tricks you need to know. collection at a recent preview and Jackie Hutchinson gave our Patrick Reynolds the inside scoop. Check it out. What's going on here today for 2016 in Revlon? Well, Patrick, we're launching so many new products um, and the products are, it's about connecting with the consumer emotionally. Love is that one time where every woman wants to look beautiful. When a woman looks in the mirror and her skin is flawless, there's a confidence about her. You know, she can face the world that way. So we're giving her a compact that is her foundation and her concealer. It's a great formula because not only is it covering, but it is actually, it adjusts to the fluctuations of heat. So she works out, her makeup is impeccable. Now we're talking about love, let's talk about lips. We've launched our Ultra HD Matte Lip Color. Matte is a huge trend right now, but, so we, but we want to give her bold matte looks that are non-drying. They go on and they just absolutely feel weightless. There's nothing to it but this incredible color that just looks amazing on her lips. You've got a fragrance as well? Oh, yes. You know, you know we have to smell wonderful, so it lures him in. And so our fragrance is actually called Love Is On. Congratulations on the launches. Thank you so much. <laughs> Holy gorgeous. All right, Jackie's here with us live, and we've got Milena, who's going to be our model. We want to talk about mascara. Yeah. Mascara is huge. Even for people that wear nothing, they will always at least wear mascara. Yes. Right? Mascara is the finishing touch. Mm -hmm. And the key to mascara is to find the best mascara for you. Okay. Not your friend. Right. Okay? And that's a challenge. We look, oh, Tracy's got great lashes. What do you wear and you go and you buy it? 
that's not it. You want to find that mascara. And the basics are lengthening, thickening, curling, and then you want to, and that will give you definition as well. Right. Okay. So you're you're looking for what uh, what you need for your mascara. Exactly. If, if it was Melena, what would she be looking for? Where do you so, want to start? So Melena, she needs um, volume. She's already got the length. She does. So let's give her volume. Okay. So um, application is essential as well. So it's a brush, yeah. your formula, and then how you apply it. Right. Okay. So for volume, look down slightly for me, darling. For volume, you want to hold the brush in the roots of the lashes yeah. and do a slow zigzag or back and forth motion moving up from roots to tips. Got it. That slow motion is so important because it allows the mascara to deposit and thicken, wow. thicken, dramatic volume. I is like what that little gone. song you made up right yeah, there. I was like hypnotized. <laughs> yes, yes, yeah. And also, she has so much length in her lashes. Exactly. Like when I do that, that that song lasts two seconds. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the trick. If you want, if you want the length, then you just soup soup it through, okay. right? So it extends the, the lashes. The application changes if you're no. looking for length. Exactly. All right. Big thing to do. This is what I love doing: using two different mascaras. Oh, together? It's called cocktailing. Oh, I love it. Yeah. Okay. Tell me more. So you use your volumizing mascara, and then you use another mascara, and this particular one I'm going to use is, has a small brush. Okay. So this tiny little brush, it holds a lot of mascara, mm -hmm. but then it al also allows you to get to all those little tiny hairs, mm. okay, which creates even bigger, bolder, more dramatic lashes. Because right. if you capture all of those tiny hairs, right. you're good to go. A la Kardashians. E exactly. It's like they catch every single one. Every single one. And that would probably be really good for the bottom. Exactly. For the bottom one. So, look so they're always a little bit darling. smaller and I find exactly. them harder to catch. Exactly. You can use that little And you brush. just use it and you just pull them down. It extends, it volumizes it thick. You're gonna have super, super, super dramatic bold lashes nice that look absolutely that incredible amazing. now what what if you're not Melena and you need more of a curl in your lash is there something you're doing with your application in order to curl you it? can do that as well so you can use a eyelash curl but a lot of us don't have the time for that mm -hmm. if you want a curl just mm -hmm. look here for me darling so you want to uh, I'll do it on this one so you hold the brush in the roots of the lashes mm -hmm. and then you roll it Oh. slowly so so it's like a curling brush right you roll it roll it roll it and it will curl those that lashes really did curl it. yeah wow yeah so the the whole thing of going slow you're really getting that liquid yes. in there to stick yes. the slowness allows you to deposit more product got it okay and we're typical zoom zoom yeah but if you want that volume and really big bold lashes mm -hmm. that's what you slow need to it do. down Good demo. Yeah. Okay, Jackie has brought down Revlon Super Length Mascara for everyone in today's audience. Go slow. Nice lesson, I love that. Let's go to break, more coming up. Stay with us. Coming up, Sandy's got denim for everybody type. It's awesome. Is what it's about. We all know jeans are for every, all times of the year, for every age group, so, and also for every body type. You know, when Joel Carmen started Over the Rainbow over 40 years ago, you think that somebody that's been in business that long must know a thing or two about denim. You'd think. And with over 5,000 pair of jeans in the store at any given time for women oh alone, gosh. you know there's a pair for every body shape, every yes. body type, and every style. And we're going to start right off the top with Paquita, who I've sort of represented as our petite model. Yes. And I wanted to show you, because we all know the skinny is hot, and everybody's worn it, and why it's an easy piece of clothing. Yeah. It actually isn't for everybody, but it's what, like one of those fashion trends that somehow everybody adopts, even if they shouldn't. Yeah. What I shouldn't I, be wearing them. I wear them all the time. But what I like <laughs> about them also, in yeah. terms of being petite, is it can be 
because the bottom is so narrow, it can easily be hemmed and turned up. Yeah. And that's one of the things that Rainbow does, does so well, is they ha are able to do all the real denim hemmings on them and ah. the natural things. But why that's important is because if you get something with too extreme a shape at the bottom, it yeah. gets more difficult to hem up. Absolutely. We've done it with one of these seasons, just wonderful little float tops. And this one with the lovely little cami underneath. Love just it. soft layers. It's sort of that very retro styling. And it's just really pretty. You get the wash down the front. This one from AG, of course, they're all stretched, totally comfortable. And I like putting it on with the nude shoe because it doesn't break the leg. It and it elongates her. the body. I don't care whether you're petite or tall. Everybody looks likes to look longer right. in jeans. Yeah, those Thanks, are great Peter. on you. Very nice. Let's see the next uh, one you, you pick out. Now, I love that you did this. I think a lot of people find this kind of denim tough to wear. It's a gaucho. Yes. I so love anything to do with this cloth, this is really what I would Those call cool. more for um, the style hound because, yeah. you know, if you're looking to be right on trend, this is what you do it's it where with. It's at. What is great about it is it's like a crop pant. It gives you the ability to showcase your shoes. Right. You can do it with this sort of very 70s clog feeling the way we've done it, but you could put this on equally well with a running shoe and an oversized t-shirt. Like totally. it's a real good run around. I like the fact that because it's fairly straight, if you're a little heavier through the thigh, it doesn't cling to you. So it just gives you that very straight up and down shape. Yeah. And I like that we've married it with a denim jacket. Why not? It gives you denim head to toe. I did it by using the deeper denim on the top, which sort of picks up on the hemline. And these are Citizen of Humanity uh, for the Collots and a beautiful page classic stretch denim jacket. I think mm -hmm. every woman, as much as we all have a denim jean, mm -hmm. we should all have a denim, a denim jacket, jacket in our wardrobe. But I do like them when they're just sort of cropped a little bit at the waist because it does allow you to wear it with so many different shapes. Of I love it when they hit you at the waist, the denim. I, you know, you can tuck your stomach into that. And it, I also like the distressed hemline down there. Distressed hemline, and it no longer, we're no longer tucking everything in neatly and tidily. No, it's kind of But slouchy. what you're seeing here is that this is quite high waisted. A lot I of the new that. denim, and it's also very prevalent with the skinny. The newest skinny comes right the up to up. the waist. So, all you women that have always been worried about a little bit of what we used to call the muffin top, mm -hmm. everything just gets scooped in, and it just yes. makes it a little more tidy. You can have a whole cake and just tuck it in. Yeah, just Not perfect. even just a muffin. Thank you. You look great. Thanks. Very nice. I love those. I yeah, love I, I, a think, I love a gaucho. I, just, I think this is I a, absolutely And although love I it. said it's a real style trend, yes. I see this as being something you fit around. Yeah, I do. Now, I wanted to These show Sam, and this her. is what I would call my curvy girl, and God mm -hmm. knows we are all curvy girls. Um, so she's got on the flare very similar to me, okay? So yeah. it's that sort, same sort of styling. What I think you want to make sure you're doing if you're doing this shape, first of all, it's great because curvy and going down to a flare is balances curvy. It just balances out. it beautifully. But I do think with this, it requires a heel. It requires you to make it a higher, you want to elongate the leg. So I think you want to use a platform, you want to use a I wedge, agree. you want to use a block heel, you want to use a boot. Because it's a very 70s retro trend. Yeah. And then I think when we do it with the soft top, sort of half tucked, again, this one has beautiful detailing underneath. Yeah. You see? Oh, it I all, like it's that. It's nice, so it's got the button, but it almost becomes like a bit of jewelry there. When yeah. you're doing it on black denim, I think that's very cool. Right. So these particular ones are from J Brand. Um, the ones I'm wearing her from frame so I mean there's so many different makes within the housing of both men and women at right. over the rainbow and you know the greatest thing is I know it's a Toronto store but the best news is they're now available online at rainbowjeans.com oh great so they can send stuff out to you and you know we all know that we love to be fitted with our jeans but it does yeah. mean you can get if you like the styling and you can talk to them about sort of fit they can find the appropriate thing for you ship you out some different styles and you find out what works and then send back what doesn't which wasn't I available like before you know I think the one thing w when we look at today and look at the different proportions of denim it's a bit like bathing suits yeah these are probably two categories that women really don't love buying but they're categories that once you've bought them if you love them you wear them a lot that's true so I think you'll wear it again and again and, and again. again those will be your jeans and I think that that's 
why when you start to look at denim that's more expensive, mm -hmm. it, sometimes it's hard for people to wrap their head around more expensive denim because they think, gee, jeans used to be whatever, $19.99. Yeah. Well, it's not happening. First of all, it's all about the fabric. It's about the comfort. You'll wear them more. If they're mm -hmm. comfortable, they fit well. And you turn around, you will wear them probably more than any other piece you of wardrobe when you're around. Stay, 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 stay with so us. I think I think when you wear something this much, it's worth investing in. Very nice. Okay, I, I love I love the whole array, but particularly those ones in the middle. <laughs> Let's go to break. Because after when we come back, we're revealing the makeover, and it's dramatic. Trust me, you'll want to see it. Really nice. Don't miss Monday's City Line Party Winter Recipes. Dinner is ready. The art of organization. A revolutionary way to think of decluttering. Unique light trends. The impact is amazing. Plus, orchids as decor. They're, They're really great. quite elegant. Monday on City Line. Shopping Channel's number one beauty brand. Today only on TSC, check out her six-piece Supreme Skin Care Collection, along with Diamond L earrings for a special price. Today's audience will take the full collection home. Oh, you're gonna look pretty good. More info, tsc.ca. Yeah, not bad at all. This is dramatic, okay? I'm just gonna get you ready. Raffaella came in here and she just shot her hand up in the air when we asked who wanted a makeover. She said, you know what, it's time for a change and they can do whatever they want. Take a look at the new Raffaella! Oh my goodness! All right, girlfriend, Dish, what's going through your mind? Uh, wow. <laughs> it's amazing. It's, uh, I've never had my hair this short and uh, it feels very light and uh, fantastic. You know what, it's not even just short, it is stylish. Like you got a style and there's something about giving a woman a style like this. It, it, it's confident building, mm -hmm. right? Like you look amazing, Thank so you. good, beautiful hair and makeup. Palma, let's uh, talk about how much you took off. Wow. I took off about, I would say, 10 inches of hair today for That's her. a lot. Let's take it's a look It's really at it. in the detail of her hair. She had a beautiful hairline. She's got a little tail in the back yeah. that I want to showcase because I want people to see her from every angle. Mm -hmm. And you wear your hair. Your hair doesn't wear you, and you're doing that by this exact style. You're beautiful, you're confident, and now you are wearing it. I wanted her to have something versatile so she could tuck it behind her ears, mm -hmm. and she can look completely pixie, bring down the bang a little bit. So she can wear this in so many different ways. Her hair is also curly. Right. Um, not kinky curly, but she's got a wave. Mm -hmm. And so she can play up with that texture as well. So she's gonna have a lot of fun with this. Is she gonna be okay then to wake up, wash her hair, and just touse a little, little and Absolutely. go? Absolutely, that Good. was the whole point of this cut. And that's why I wanted there to be the details. Very yeah. nice. Oh, I can't wait actually to see it wavy too. That would look amazing. Okay. Jackie, let's talk about her beautiful oh. face. Well. First of all, she's got stunning skin. Yeah. So um, that was just easy to enhance. But what we wanted to do was play up the eyes because she wears the glasses all the time. Right. And that is part of her. So definition on her brows and definition with liner and mascara. Right. And then gave her a pop of color on the lips yeah. to balance the two. So um, it's all about framing with the definition of the hair and enhancing the beautiful skin and eyes. Very good, really nice job. Sandy, come in here. So Jackie, you and I are in the minority. They all have cool glasses on and we do not. <laughs> do you do extra on your eyes in order to make them pop underneath the glasses? Yeah, but I think you're right about the pop on the mouth because mm. you know when you wear, I mean, I always wear crazy glasses, so I, I don't want this to just wash exactly. out. So That's right, yeah. you don't want it to be completely yeah, obliterated, sure. right? Listen, great advice uh, with the swimsuits and the, the denim and fabulous makeover, man. 2016, Thank you here. said, is your year of transformation. Absolutely. This is a good start. Thank Thanks for watching City Line. Have a fabulous weekend. Catch us online. CityLine.ca.